Hey everybody, welcome back to another pickup video, STC pod style. Bill's making us spend money that we don't have again. I'm going to start this one off, guys, because I only got one thing, and that's all I'm showing this time anyway. Uh, I picked this up from uh, Toys R Us. It is Decepticon Overload. It's part of the Titans Return series, so it's got the uh, the little headmaster kind of guy gimmick in there. And this is one of the uh, Decepticons Overlord. Pretty cool. He's a multi-former, so he's got robot mode. And there's a little headmaster guy that turns into the head. He also forms a ship. Shouldn't uh, this be on the TMB channel? A station just... and uh, a tank. Shouldn't this be on the Transformers and Beer channel? Oh, it will be. It so will be. You're going to double up on your stuff. Why do you get so angry about that? So who's in charge of the robot? The little guy or the robot? Uh, <laughs> depends what mode he's in. It's too complicated to say. Yeah, like, maybe you'll write a blog on it, like the size displacement one day. All right. Switch Anyways. spots. Do your thing. Stick around to the end of this one, folks, because it's a good one. Hurry up. Just looking at blank screen here. Well, why? We'll start uh, off like we started the last. Uh, we'll see some man boobs. Yeah. We'll start off with some Star Trek comic books here. It's like looking in the mirror. Well, that's uh, when Riker got all ripped when he went to that uh, Klingon ship. Who? Remember? So I found these at Value Village. It's not like they're worth much, but they're from, what, 2002, I think? Someone will like these. I don't even have them bagged and boarded yet. But, you know, cool Star Trek. Yeah, uh, and you failed to mention one thing. What? Well, look how you were reading it. Back yeah. to the front. Why is that, Bill? It's anime style. Ah. Or, or manga style. Is that, what, uh, is that what you're supposed to say? Found this at a thrift store. Absolutely don't need it. Component for uh, PS2, PS3. But for a dollar, I just, I got a problem. Also at the Value Village. Got some more uh, nunchucks for four bucks. Another wave bird here for five dollars. No dongle, so I have two wave birds, two without the receiver. I don't know what I'm going to do. Another uh, GameCube controller here. Let's open this up. This is a bit chewed. Didn't notice that. However, this is the uh, Indigo with the clear back. This is the only GameCube controller that wasn't a pack-in. Five bucks. I'll buy game controllers all day long for five bucks, which I did again here for three dollars. Do you understand their pricing at Value Village? No, nobody can understand these this guys. This one's in good shape, though. Another baggie. Why did I buy this baggie? Not for the HDMI, not for the coax, not for that piece of crap, but uh, this was in there. Oh, that's the uh, PlayStation dildo. The PS Move. Yeah, for five bucks. When I get the VR, at one point in my life, I'm gonna need these. So. You know, I've seen uh, I've seen people put this in their anus, and then, and then for you, some reason, and then you smell it. <laughs> this uh, ended up in the bag at the same time oh, too. Oh, that happened. So that was weird. It was, it was weird. weird. It, it didn't belong in there, it, but it got it kinda in. It kind of jumped in there somehow. So you always need more of those. That's you know a why? 3DS charger. Out of respect. Then we got some games here. Uh, this day I went in, all their PS2 games were $6.99 each. Or was it $7.99 each? It was stupid. Except for the ones that were actually worth a little bit more. They were $3.99. So this, this has a little bit of extra value. Not a ton. But that's nice. And this was there. Sun Hill 2. That's always worth some bucks. And they had that at $3.99. Mm -hmm. Even though they had the common PS2s on for $7.99. And that's complete. That's going to be an upgrade for the one I have because this one is in way better shape, I believe. Let's get a picture of Joe on there. Are, are you having fun? Is that that's some brilliant, brilliant comedy right there? These, I was going to pay the big price at Value Village for these. They were behind the glass. 
but I had a 30% off card and I went, ah, it kind of makes it worth it. So I went uh, to pay for this and uh, I don't know, an older lady cashier, she ended up bringing these up as kids movies at $2.99 each. So sorry about that. I, I don't think you are. Well, I didn't notice until after what happened. Otherwise you would have told. Yeah. I know. Well, that's a great deal. This I did pay the full money for, mostly because I wouldn't come off nice. <laughs> what we have here, a, a rock band, Guitar Hero. I wouldn't normally buy their peripherals, but this is the Beatles one. It's the Paul McCartney Hoffner replica. And uh, of all the rock band stuff, these are the ones that actually retain a little bit of value. It is nicely constructed, though, eh? actually has the chrome guard on there. It's the PlayStation version. It does look nice, right? Yep. You know what would look nicer, though? A real guitar. Let me, let me help you out with that. This was a let-go purchase. I'll tell you how much I paid for this. <sighs> But if you want to hear the story how I got that deal, you're going to have to listen to next week's STC pod. Let's go. Hold on. Why do you get to take as much time as you want on your shit? But on mine, I have to rush. Well, at least open it so we can see what's going on. So I found this uh, little vintage guitar. They had it listed for $60 on Let Go. And I thought even then that he might have forgotten a zero. So I'm like, if you want 60 bucks for this, I'll come and get it today. And he's like, okay. And uh, yada, yada, yada. Pick this up for $20. What we have is a 1978 Ibanez Musician Series electric guitar. Come on down. What we got here is, uh, I believe these are Super 88 humbucking pickups, uh, all original hardware, and uh, natural wood design. What is rare about this guitar and makes it interesting is the neck, don't show the, don't show the serial number, is what you have is a neck through body design, so the neck carries all the way through to the tailpiece. It's not bolted on. They did this, uh, apparently that design creates longer sustain uh, for your tone. I don't know, maybe. Now here's the issues with it. Why is it too good to be true? You can come down here, you can see this major crack here. Comes up through the tailpiece, through the input, and through the bridge nut, which is what really had me concerned. And then through here, and it carries all the way through comes up through here and keeps going on to here now I took it into professionals to get this set up neck adjustment all that jazz and they confirm that that cracking is just on the finish so it doesn't affect the guitar at all I had uh, all four pots replaced neck adjustment new strings complete setup so it's fully working original case all from 78 20 bucks so the pots though where are they where are these pulled from like uh they're well the knobs are all the same right two of these were seized and two were fine but uh, were scratchy so on the inside they just replace the pots with brand new gibson pots and throw out the old uh, so if you're looking close you can uh, also tell some more original equipment here uh, Ibanez original knobs, they uh, had this rubber grommet around it, so that's how you can tell these haven't been replaced, it's the original hardware. The other thing that's weird with this kind of guitar, no pick guard. So I'm a, I'm a real cordy kind of player, so I gotta be careful not to, uh, if you come in close you can still see a little bit of surface scratches there. But otherwise, this guitar has barely been touched, I don't know how it managed to get this damage the cracking i don't know how they managed to do that with a guitar that's so little played if you can look on the back there's absolutely no buckle scratching anywhere so i don't know but when i first looked at it the crack was very scary to me so i just said this is look guy this is a wall hanger and that's it but 
you know what? Turns out we got a fully working vintage Ibanez musician series guitar. I'm very happy with it. What do you think? Very cool. Thanks, guys.